Chatterbox. I think it's a good idea. I think it's where you're at in your life, right? I mean, if you're like off a breakup and like, okay, you're going into like a new relationship. For me, it's out of respect to the person I'm oh, committed well, to, that. right? Yeah. That's yeah. when I'll kind of like sever all bonds. But for me, pers- I've, I've, I've had somebody say they, they're literally not friends with any of their exes because once a relationship done, it's done. That's but right. I feel like that. That means you can't form real relationships because that means your relationships are shallow. I think that there should be some level of, of, there should be remnants. There should be something that you're like, this is a good person. It just didn't work out. Yeah. As long as it, as long as this person isn't a bad person, I still hate all of, like any ex. I want to see them do well. But for some people, it's like holding on to the past, right? Sometimes. And not That's like that. Not like no. that. It's not really like a shallow thing. It's just. The person, usually the person that's being broken up with, because you're probably talking about in terms of mutually breaking up. No. But I'm then not. the per- okay, <laughs> so somebody <laughs> who's broken up with, you feel that type of betrayal because it's like, you left me. Like, we no. were trying to build something and then you left me. Like, I can't, I can't forgive you because you walked away. We decided we were going to be a team and then you decided, okay, you didn't want to try. Even if we were having some stress, like, you know, it's either we try to make it work or you're walking away kind of thing. And it's usually... Somebody can walk away and be a good person. I, I, I think yeah, it's but, yeah, but the person you walked away from... Mutual, if it's not a mutual breakup, like we decide together that, you know what, we don't work together. So we're going to break up. If if a guy breaks up with me, I can't see myself being Thank friends you. with I've him. I've had my heart Thank just broken. Like, I mean, for what reason? And still was well, maybe you're more, you're more of a, like, a forgiving person. Like, yeah. Um, you're too nice. That's maybe what it is. the type of person you know. I've I never been described those. as nice, too nice. I've been described as nice. I've never been described as too like, nice. It, it depends <laughs> on the dynamic of the relationship. Like, I personally think if you were friends first, and if it was like a true friendship, and then you break up, at some point you would be able to like, get back to being friendly yeah. that person. I think that's like if y'all it. had like a real you know good friendship then y'all got into a relationship and realized okay relationship life weren't for both of you guys then you guys can go back to has anybody friends. had a breakup where they're just like oh it's not working out I don't think that happened now. Oh, no, that's right. where both people are just well, nobody wants to get back together no, I, I, I had a, a situation yeah. when I was with this female mm-hmm. for like X amount of periods like a couple years ago and then she came over we had sex it was amazing by the way of course <laughs> <laughs> and then afterwards, she was in the shower and I was brushing my teeth and she was like, oh yeah, um, this is not going to work anymore. This is our last time to see each other. Ooh, she like, Wow. And I was brushing my teeth and I was like... <laughs> and she, did she go hard? Did she go overboard the last time you had sex? What do you mean? Like, did she do she, more than she, she said, really does? She said it was amazing. Yeah. Yeah. Like, oh, it, was just, it was like, probably like a bar fall the best time we ever had sex. Exactly. Yeah, she, she made sure. Yeah. She did that <laughs> It was because of her. It was because of me. Oh, oh, oh my God. God. Whatever. She just, she just like, well, um, yeah, um, that was great. Well, it's time to end things. And I'm just brushing my teeth. Did you, you guys were still together at that point? Yeah. Damn. She just didn't want to So you got to finish brushing your teeth? Because that's <laughs> <laughs> I was at the you know, after you brush your teeth and then you spit a couple times, yeah. I was there about to br- brush my tongue. And then she said, so I'm like, so you say, fuck the tongue, no more. It just doesn't work. Right. 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 I woke up and I finished brushing my teeth. Did you guys stay friends though? Did you guys stay friends? Yeah, we did stay friends. That's cartel say. I was one done, the next one, but I got, I got. <laughs> I don't know, I'm cool with almost all my exes. Like, almost all of them. I'm cool with. Me too. It's actually. never really been a problem for me. Mm. Okay, Almost. Cool though, like, one that I hate. Okay, do you still, <laughs> okay. If, okay, so you get cool with your ex again and like they bring up maybe stories about y'all past and they're like alluding to getting back in a relationship, then. If we're, if we're friends. If you're friends, you can talk about it. Yeah, I can flirt with my exes and there not be any, any sort of plans. I flirt with See, all my exes. Yeah. That, that's a, <laughs> I, 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 it's kind of like leading on a little bit. You start leading on. Okay, yeah, it's it's so cool. People are flirting and they're not like, it doesn't matter. No, I, I, I disagree because if you and your ex are flirting, there's still sexual tension. Exactly. Yeah. Oh. Okay, let's, let's there's the attraction. Let's define platonic friendship here first. Yeah, just just no fucking, no fucking, no nothing. Y'all just talk. Y'all can talk about relationships. I sit and talk. I have an ex. I sit. I talk to him on the phone about all my relationships. But have y'all done it personally and private? Mm. 
personally, I mean, and, okay. like in private, yeah, just, just you two over the Yeah, I've been, I've been in a room with them, and, and that's and nothing happens. Absolutely nothing. But well, maybe okay. yeah, he was over you. <laughs> I was over him. <laughs> he was over well, you. I thought you were talking about like real platonic friendship. Y'all talking about the flirt with y'all like friends? So you don't have any platonic friends that you flirt with? Okay. Well, then that's not. <laughs> let's define platonic friendship first. So like, you with somebody and then you break up with them and then you you flirt and stuff with. Them. Okay, like, let me ask you a question. Uh -huh. There's no guy. And do not lie, Paloma. There's no guy or even <laughs> girl that you talk to and you just don't say like a few like, oh, you look nice today. Your ass look nice today. Your boobs look good today. Oh, you look good today. And that, that's it. Nikisha, you disagree? Mm. You <laughs> never know. Well, be honest. You never. Know. You don't have anybody that just you can say that to when it's. Because I have friends. Oh, and then I've would, never it, been in that situation. And it wouldn't be like taken as it wouldn't be taken yeah. as like anything sexual. Yeah. Exactly. Well, so what does that? How does that not make it platonic? If we can, if you can just say something. Maybe because of the history of your relationship, yeah. there's always going to be a sexual yeah, undertone I mean, if you guys for the other person. For the other person. Yeah, you saw yeah. that. And that sounds like you might not. <laughs> so you, I don't remember. You might not mean it as something, but like they might take it in their head, oh, and then yeah, you know, that there's it's a possibility just, something could happen. happen. I'm gonna just yeah. point this wait, wait, out. So it's too friendly. Y'all saying you can't be friends with somebody you want to have sex with them? This no, you, 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 you can be friends and have and want to have yeah, sex so with them. Why you can't be friends with your ex even if there's a sex because, because, because you want to have that relationship. Listen, so unless really you were a bad good. listen, unless you were a bad person and everything was bad about you, there's no more attraction that it died, right? But what if we were good together? We were really good together, but it just didn't work out. Mm. I'm around you every day. I'm talking with you. I'm flirting with you. Flirting is something you do when you like someone. And then what? What, and what happens? Right what now, happens after you I'm, stop? I the flirt with anybody. Really I'm biased. I don't like to burn bridges at all. Yeah, but I'm at biased. the same time, but at the same time, like I like, I feel like I have different types of friends. There's friends that I'm close with, and I'll you know tell them everything. There's friends that you know I'm gonna just invite them to the fets and all that. And then there's friends that like. I'm kind of just your friend out of principle. Yeah. I feel like you can be friends with your ex, but at the same time, you got to know where to put everybody. What category? Yeah. Okay, so those of you that think that you could be friends with your ex, what happens if, okay, so you get a new partner now and they mm. have issues with you being friends with your ex? Because it's, See, that's it's that's unsettling that's because that's it's like, I say, I know you say that you're all just right, friends, so but like... Yeah, no, I don't because I'm usually the one that don't want to be friends with my ex at all. I'm always, I'm always the one that they come and say, "Oh, please, let's try being friends." With. I don't want it because you are now the past. I don't, no. I don't go back there. It's 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 <laughs> Maybe one of Carrie's exes did something to her. I don't understand. Like, <laughs> it's good to be it's friends with everybody, but it's like it's there's still an emotional con um. Connection. Connection right there. You have there. to give it time to sever and then you It's never going to sever. I agree. But I, I, I forget about it's you after it's it's sever. Like, no, no, then the relationship like, wasn't real. Uh, it wasn't that's real. not that's true. true. It wasn't real. I remember that's being in a relationship and the chick asked me to stop talking to one of the chicks I used to deal with and I told her that's not happening because it was, it was strictly a friendship. It was nothing crazy. So I felt... I felt comfortable to be like, I'm not cutting her off. That's not Unless happening. it wasn't a deep relationship. Well, females are very then. territorial, though, so I understand where he's coming from with that. But it's not only females, bro. Yeah, 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 man. I'm too, man. Guys are super territorial. They might not say it, but they, you're going to see it in how they like act. Something like that is not your ex is now a friend that you just can't even get rid of. Like, now they're your BFF. How many friends do you truly need? I feel yeah. like I can, if my partner decides to say, like, oh, you know, I truly don't like the idea of you being friends with your ex, I can be like, all right, cool then. I got enough for it. Or is it not? Is it now <laughs> that your ex is like such a close your friend? Your ex is an ex. That's so like you know what I mean? Like, that you can't even, you can't even what like. It's not even. It's like you the know, principle like of it. Like, so like close we're to friends. Now that they're, if why I, would somebody uh, come along and be able to tell me exactly. that you gotta go? Because right? they will feel like I that person. First. I mean, they will feel like that person is a, is competition, is a threat exactly. to them. But they no, might be insecure. Then that is true. We all have our own insecurities. Yeah, that's true. How do you feel if you got a girlfriend? It's not happening. Whatever you want to say, it's not happening. Exactly. No, it's not. It's her ex. Her man. Her ex man is her friend. No, it's not. That's not happening. Wow. That's not. Listen. It's, it's real deep for me while I'm not with that, but I'm not I with understand, that. That's not but cool at all. See, see what you are going still know. You gotta eat that. Dang. <laughs> feel like there's no compromise then. Yeah, nah. mm.
Damn. You can't mm-hmm. police too much them activities still. You get me? Cause me, if, me, if my empress right now she on youth, you shall usually deal. And she and my friend. Twice still, you know, I, I burn jealousy still, you know. So I know the jealousy you know, man and her farm, you know. You see me? From my and I woman have an overstanding. We know Sarah. Me and her have an overstanding. Me and her have a straight. Right right now, right, 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 speaking right now. Me have me have my empress right now. Alright, me have my empress. So through our through lifetime still, I will leave an empress I talk to, see? I will leave an empress. Yes. Yeah, see, for, no, no, it's a girl. Yeah, no, 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 people say that still, I know it's a girl, but, but we have a way where we know how to deal with a woman. Mm. So when we have reason with a woman, really, really take it deep, and a woman tend to like that, I will know how to treat her, right? You see me, I say, make sure she knows everything good, but make sure she knows what she know. Don't slip up me either. You get me? So, the point where I say still is that me have my impression, me have only a girl that I usually talk to her. Then bless her up now and then and say, well, go on, you're good. You see me, I real. Me and them girl the deal. Somebody, you can't call it, so me and them girl are friends still. My woman understand that. She knows it. She have to just know say, what, the, what is that? What, what is what, what, the aim of we are going for right now is to be the greatest right now. We are going to inspire people and show them so what you are going on. This is love. Love, 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 love is a thing between two people and not between bag of people. Mm-hmm. And jealousy is a thing with fuck up love. You see, mm-hmm. jealousy, the too much emotions attached and jealousy, and you are think this. Sometimes when you are think it, you know, you ask the person to do that, you know. I really hear your mind that, you know. You have overs, I hear your mind that, you know. And I really, the person do not, you know. As me tell my woman, she can't see my phone and she see a girl, as she should be upon the phone. And she pass the phone, give me and see a phone and ring. At the, type of, at the type of level of our thing there. I can't see fear for when I ring. I see beer upon it and I see a call. I see your phone ring. Here's your phone. To go off the phone thing, my girlfriend has a fingerprint on my phone. So, it's not me building it. Mm-hmm. So, yeah. she has complete access to my phone, but she doesn't go through it. Mm. That's what you think. <laughs> 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 I don't know. So, all right, so my philosophy upon all that now. All right, what do you say now? All right, let me ask you a question. When you're looking at a man's phone, and you're not expect for sitting up and seeing with it. Because I'm looking, obviously, if I'm looking at my phone, I'm expecting to see something. That means what are you expecting to see? That means if I'm get go. I'm saying if a woman's looking at a guy's phone, it's because she thinks there's something wrong. Yeah. Yeah, but if you have to look to your phone, forget for find out if something wrong. That means so that means that you're not for there's something at all. I was was making a joke. But that. that, See, uh, and as time progresses, you build trust with that person. Well, no, yeah, I don't agree with that. Unless there's a reason for you to think something else. Um, if you enter a, a relationship at first, there shouldn't be any reason. I've had, got, like, I swear, two different boyfriends left phones at my house, and I did not go in the phone. Yeah, Neither of them had asked for it. Did not, should have, did not go in their phones. <laughs> but that's why industry a while ago still, I get a vision says still enough. I agree that it's garbage. I don't think it's garbage. No, but you can't right. start off, or you can't start dealing with a woman, I'm saying, I'm going to trust her. Yeah, I like it. In the society that we live in today, I mean, like, human beings don't, just don't come off trusting one. You have to have a boy, you, man. I think you can be friends with the act if you had, like, a friendship before. 
a strong I one. Like, yeah. I, I, I'm friends with exes, but I didn't have a strong so one. No, because no. if the relationship ends salty, then how do you go back to being friends after yeah. that? Oh, no, if it didn't end salty. Because time. All when it, all when it ends salty, you can be That's friends. what I'm saying. I have a lot of relationships. Yeah, we'll have to take a couple of The worst way to be exchanged. Take some time. Some of those. Everybody takes things when they're upset like they didn't mean. So you can't really go based off of that. You have to go feel happy. No, but like, you know, it hurts you. The reason why I wouldn't be friends with my ex, if you do something to me and it shows something about a character like a character trait that i just don't like and it doesn't jive well with my personality then i don't see you as being a friend mm -hmm. one funny. of my exes and it's because like you said our relationship was very deep it went familial i got very close with his mother i'm very close with his sister um I've, I've bought gifts for his mother before on Mother's Day, and you know, if I ever see her in the neighborhood or catch her in the store, you know, we kind of chop it up. And in that sense, we stayed friends because it's like yeah, you break up with man. someone, you can't just mm -hmm. leave everyone high and dry. Yeah, I can't. Yes, I don't. I don't. What you break up with? I'm not breaking up with your mother. I'm breaking up with your father. I'm breaking up with your grandmother. <laughs> Relationship. I had a great relationship with his mother. I had a great relationship with his sister. She's a teenage girl. You know, she she needed that little extra, and I was that extra for her. So I couldn't just make it just be a very nasty break. Even though the we broke up because of nasty things, you know, done on his part. But <laughs> I couldn't um, just make it be such a very so you used to visit the house so while you guys were working up. Not visit the house, but you know, I used to hit up his mom on her birthday. I still hit her up on her Britta? birthday. She's deal. a smart girl. She plays a psychological role. You hear that? She makes sure to get in touch with mommy and make sure she's everything. She knows what she'll do. She knows what she'll do. She what she do you know? Don't feel like this just comes saying she strategize all of that. Right, you know? So, right now, when it comes to the topic, here still, is that something I'm going to say? I can't, I can't carry feeling so man still. I'm not a mama man, you know. Because from Jamaica, they call them mama man, you know. When they, when they hate women? Like you carry, carry feeling so man, man, like you have up a woman and anything. I can't have up a woman still, you know. Because mm -hmm. I remember I done telling already, I love the black woman, you know. So I can't have her up same way, you know. And when a man ever said to you, so what you know? I don't want to talk to this, this and this and um, yeah, I've had somebody do that. But the guy, I've never actually dated the guy. He was just my best friend. And I had a guy like give me an ultimatum, and Which one you ultimately I chose my best friend. Yeah. But it's the difference still. The man them can't to a police them woman behavior, and the woman them can't to a police them man behavior. You have to have overstanding. If you don't have overstanding, you don't go in a relationship fire. That's how you always need to bring up. That's all them topic I even get for bring up, isn't it? But I attract, I attract guys that have the same thinking as me, like. Most of the guys I talk to and whatever, like if we go in on that path, like that's always one of the first conversations. Like, are you friends with your exes? And if you are friends, like what kind of level of friendship? Really? And a that's lot a of them, yeah, like what? How did y'all end? And are y'all oh, still no, like about, about and that. how? And are y'all still like close kind of thing? Because a lot of times too, like girls too, exactly, yeah. and girls that's get very like character, like, 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 like people oh, the exes. exactly. Yeah. Like, uh, I got in a relationship with somebody, and they got back with the ex right after the relationship. Exactly. exactly. That's, that's why you say from the exes, you don't bring your bridge because you know there's a possibility you guys came back together. Yeah, but that's why. Right. Right. Because yeah. I don't go back. Like. It's, it's easier to sleep with the exes than sleep with somebody new. Mm. Yeah, for sure. You see? That's why you stay friends. That's why a lot of people who's in relationships don't like their significant other being with uh, it's being easy. friends with their exes. I can see that. I'm going to talk to Omo and talk to Ariz. You have to just overstand that, you get me? Sure. And you have a reason to live by your own reason. You have to just know the thing that you're going to do. Ariz, you have to just know the thing you're going to do. You have to just know the thing you're going to do. You have to just know the thing you're going to do. I know she has a yes lady, man. I hear about that. Everything is good. All right, now say a word. She said, Oh, I'm to the girl here. I'm going to give her a story about all the girl and we are going to have a joke. You have to know I say thing though. Mm -hmm. But when I go, mm -hmm. yeah, she can't police my first and foremost, no I look like a youth a woman can police my baby. That sounds <laughs> nice. <laughs> that sounds no, nice, no. but it's not really hard to tell about me, then I really think I fear it when I tell her. I think that's no I think. I see with what Atachi is saying and um technically I don't really have a problem with that per se. If your partner understands that your ex your friends with your ex, that's cool. But I don't really believe that you can be friends with your ex because there's still some form of feelings deep inside somewhere, you know, and one day go act up. So I'm not in it.
So how would you guys feel if you found out your ex or your, your boyfriend is friends with their ex and when you found out you realize she's better looking than you guys? <laughs> okay, <laughs> now that's a yeah, confidence thing. You know we're, we're not even, like, I'm not even going to pretend like that's not a thought. And if they do, that's them. Because that is a thought. It is a thought. Listen to me. Anyhow, I have a ex or a, bo- a boy person becoming my boyfriend, I'm not going to ask to see it first. But if I see it, I do I do think in my head, oh, okay, I get that. She's she not that much. You're like, or, yeah. or, so or, I'm yes. down with No, Arena, man. No, man. Hey, but I was me. Of course, them girls will feel like that. Them girls are always feeling they have competition with other women. See, you know, like, I don't think you would think if like I see that, my girlfriend's ex, about me. And he's down, <laughs> if I see my girlfriend's ex, which he does not look better than me, but I'm saying if he, if he did look better than me, I'm like, damn, she's actually playing it safe. Oh, now. Can I like, better I'm better than She left the phone from my girl. That's how I would feel. Fire. Oh, you know if man look better, you watch your speech. Man. <laughs> <laughs> you know them thing, a joke thing, fire. <laughs> I'm gonna I'm tell the black woman that no fool is in the fire. No woman no look better than no woman fire. I be a beauty. You can't say the woman them, but which woman look better than which woman? I, I appreciate a lot of things you say, but I have to disagree with you on that. No nah, man, woman them have confidence, brother. If I was to have a girlfriend and the guy looked better than me, or I thought that in my head, like it doesn't matter because you don't have the same type of relationship I have with her. So yeah. that's what I have over you. If we really trying to play the competition game, and you gone, like y'all so. ended, yeah, y'all, y'all done. So or y'all look smooth enough to keep the pool. Exactly. That's how I feel. So. From another, from another from another another tells you also, I'm going out with such and such tonight, and you know me as the ex. They're going out to the bar. Oh, they can't go. Why not? They're just Whoa. friends. Oh, but y'all are just friends. Why? 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 Y'all meeting to talk about um relationships. <laughs> y'all, y'all meeting up to give each other uh, compliments. About each other's like, like ass and you know. Like, like, you know, how would you feel like if your boyfriend goes out with his ex girlfriend to the bar? Yeah. What, what, why can I? So why are you going to hold with her and why am I at home though? That don't sound so right. Be a jealous me ass feeling. Like I tell you, women think with their emotions. No. I want to come up with you guys too then. What's not jealous of you? You know how you're not saying that. So when you go out yeah, with your her. friends, oh it's a girl night baby, you can just stay in tonight. So I can't feel away, I can't feel jealous about that? But you're going out with your ex. Like, but yeah, that's my right. friend now. Me no, but like why me can't come too? Because I just want to have some quality time. But with I want to be friend with your ex student. You can be friend with her. No, listen, she she's a part of the whole thing, so she's a part of us now. The only way my significant other can be friends with his ex is only and if only I see them interact and it feels platonic because best believe I'm going to know the vibes like I'm going to feel the vibes so y'all can lie out to y'all ass and be like oh yeah we're friends but if y'all look flirtatious and stuff in person then I'm going to know and you know by extension we can all be friends. We can all be friends, you know what I'm saying? I'm a fun person. I like to talk to just like my significant other would, my hypothetical significant other who doesn't exist. But we can all be friends. We can go out to the bar together. We can travel together. We can be the three musketeers. So you're friends with him, you're friends with me. I can't believe. Y'all had a relationship and didn't exploit that for this. We were going. I didn't want to point it out because we were going. So I wasn't looking at him like this. Was, this was this was that was the reason, but there was no time. There was like who had a relationship? Yo, we still recording right now? Yo, it's still recording. Oh, all right, there we go. Hey, all right, ready? No. Ready? Chatterbox. For the simple fact that if I can, if if we can both be in this room having a discussion and there's no animosity or hate, it shows that you can be friends with. You're not having us in this room. Nah, I, I believe they could, you know, actually be friends, uh, Raina and Darian. Like, um, if honestly, if they didn't bring it up, I wouldn't have even known. So that just speaks to the fact that you can be friends with your ex. I mean, it was a time where I couldn't really be cool with her, because, um, you know what I mean, whatever. But 
So you needed a cool off period and then y'all yeah. like regroup the friendship? Yeah, yeah. it was like a We didn't talk for like six for months yeah, or even yeah. like more than that. Yeah, be a mix up together. Yeah, it was cool. <laughs> yeah, there definitely needs to be so a cool no, off period. Like, no, so there's no like no sexual tension cool. between y'all. They were completely cool. So after cool. the six months, y'all did not link up ever again for the... For the wind up. I want to all up and people and business I'm not putting attractive to you, nothing like that. Yeah, if I was once attracted to him, I think he's an attractive guy. We dated. That yeah. has nothing to do with it. But y'all are friends. We're friends. Mm -hmm. That's it. Do you, do you guys give each other compliments? Yeah. <laughs> and it's comfortable, like everything. That's a very nice yellow sweater. So if his shoelaces was on top, you tell him. Yeah, but the one that feels the fig still. We're not gonna lie. Who? You said that low, but it's alright because yeah. I, I got the mic. Yeah. I got the mic, so yeah. it's we good. Yeah. We good. Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> but but for a big man level still, man, I tell that I still uh, just mention that still. Even though I'm not doing the sus things still, like I will burn sus. Yeah, the bag of mix up, mix up things still. But she, at the most mature statement that she has make still, man, I tell that I just the statement we have make. You say respect him and Ray and yes, yeah. he's a very a very good person. Yeah, and you said that I never too too. I forget me. uptight with it. You see me so I <laughs> can I can respect that. At the most mature statement that I see make still. Right. Leave not thanks. Thank you. Oh, thank you. Chatterbox.